All right, let's jump right in. Today, we are digging into one of the biggest, most talked about ideas in crypto right now, the case for an Ethereum supercycle. And we're not talking about a small bump here. We're exploring the argument for a massive, potentially once in a generation kind of move. And there it is, the big number at the center of this whole conversation, $12,000. Now, that's a seriously bold price target, right? It's the kind of number that makes you sit up and pay attention. So our job today is to look at the facts and really understand the catalysts that are leading some very smart people to this conclusion. Let's get into it. So what's the deal here? Are we looking at a genuine supercycle, one that's driven by real-world use and technological breakthroughs? Or is this just the same old market hype and speculation we've seen before? That is the question we are going to tackle, piece by piece. So here's how we're going to break it all down. First, we'll look at the big picture thesis. Then we'll dive into the tech, a huge upgrade called Fosaka. After that, it's all about the money, Wall Street's arrival. Then we'll look at the booming economy that's already happening on chain. And finally, we'll see how the wider economic world is adding fuel to the fire. Okay, first up, the supercycle thesis itself. The core idea here is something called a flywheel effect. You know, where one good thing happens, which causes another good thing, which then makes the first thing even better. And it just starts spinning faster and faster, creating its own momentum. And this is the key thing to get. We're not just looking at one thing. The argument is that we have four huge forces all hitting at the same time. A tech revolution, a Wall Street invasion, a booming digital economy, and a perfect economic backdrop. They aren't separate events. They're all feeding into each other. All right, let's see how this flywheel gets started. It all begins with the technology, the engine of the whole operation, the Fusica scalability revolution. You could think of this like taking the old Ethereum engine out and dropping in a brand new, high-performance beast built for insane speed and scale. And look, this isn't some fantasy on a roadmap for five years from now. The source material shows us this is happening, and it's happening soon. Mainnet activation is scheduled for December 3rd, 2025. You can see the exact finalization point, and just a few days later, the network starts its massive data scale up. The point is, this is right around the corner. So what's the magic behind this upgrade? It all comes down to a new technology called data blobs. The easiest way to think about this is like adding a brand new, super wide express lane to a highway. This lane is built specifically for other networks called layer twos to dump their data cheaply without causing a massive traffic jam on the main road. And we're not talking about a small tweak here. The capacity of this new express lane is massive. We're going from being able to handle six of these data blobs per block to 48. That's an eight times increase in raw data capacity. This is the technical spark that lights the economic fire. So what does that 8x actually mean for you and me? Well, here it is. It's projected to lead to an 87% drop in transaction costs on those layer two networks. This is an absolute game changer. It takes Ethereum from a place where fees can sometimes be expensive to a network that can handle tiny microtransactions for millions of people all at once. Okay, so the engine is upgraded. Now it needs fuel, a lot of fuel. And that's our second catalyst the giant on-ramp that Wall Street is building. We're talking about the pipes that could funnel trillions of dollars from the traditional world straight into Ethereum. This quote right here, it nails the huge shift that's happening. For years, big money was just thinking about buying and holding crypto. But now, now they're looking at things like staking and want to actively participate to earn a yield on their assets. They're not just buying Ethereum, they wanna put it to work. So just how much capital are we talking about? Well. Estimates suggest that a staked ETH ETF, just that one product, could see inflows of over $15 billion. Let that sink in. That's a massive wave of new money just waiting for an easy, regulated way to get in. And hey, this isn't just wishful thinking. The money is already starting to flow. Just this year, existing Ethereum ETFs have already pulled in almost $7.8 billion. The demand is already there, it's real, and it is strong. But here's where it gets really crazy. You have to look at the scale of the companies that are now getting involved. We're talking about the biggest names in finance, firms that together manage over $9.3 trillion. You know, even if they decide to put a tiny, tiny fraction of that into Ethereum, the impact would be absolutely monumental. Okay, we've got the upgraded tech and we've got the incoming capital. But what are people actually doing with it? Well, this next part is all about the real-world economic activity that proves Ethereum is already a seriously busy digital nation. Check this out. This is the growth of stablecoins, which you can basically think of as the U.S. dollars of the crypto world. In just over a year, 
the supply has almost doubled from 96 billion to 187 billion. That's a clear sign that the demand to do business on this network is exploding. And the amount of money moving around, it's just staggering. These stablecoins on Ethereum are now settling half a trillion dollars every single day. To give you some context, that's a volume that is starting to compete with and in some cases even surpass major global currencies like the euro. This is not a toy, it's a global settlement system. And it's not just digital dollars either. The whole on-chain economy is firing on all cylinders. We're seeing trillions of dollars in real-world assets being brought onto the network. The value in decentralized finance has doubled. And with that Fusaka upgrade coming, the value on those layer twos is expected to blast past 120 billion. It's a boom town. Okay, for our last piece of the puzzle, let's zoom out. Because all this amazing stuff happening on chain isn't happening in a vacuum. The whole thing is getting a huge boost from a favorable economic climate and some very bullish predictions from the experts. It's like having a strong wind at your back. And when a heavyweight strategist like Tom Lee from Fundstrat starts talking, people on Wall Street tend to pay very close attention. And he's calling for nine to $12,000 ETH. He even compares the potential here to Bitcoin's legendary 100X super cycle. That's a huge statement. And here's that tailwind. So what does this chart mean? Well, basically, the market is betting big, an 84% chance big that borrowing money is about to get cheaper. And historically, when that happens, a lot of that cheaper money goes looking for higher returns and assets just like Ethereum. And it's not just one person saying this. Look at this. You see a whole range of analysts. And yeah, the exact numbers are different, but the direction is undeniable. The consensus from a whole lot of different sources is overwhelmingly bullish for the next couple of years. So let's put it all together. This is the super cycle flywheel in action. It all starts with the Fasaka upgrade making the network cheap and fast. That utility then attracts Wall Street, which opens the floodgates for capital with ETFs. All that money and all those new users cause the on-chain economy to just explode. And the whole thing is getting pushed forward by those macro tailwinds. See how each step just powers the next? Which leaves us with this one really big question. When you stack up all the evidence, the tech, the Wall Street adoption, the sheer volume of economic activity, are we watching Ethereum transform from just another crypto into a fundamental layer of global economic infrastructure? That's the powerful idea at the very heart of this supercycle thesis. Don't forget to subscribe, and thanks for watching.